to waste the whole day. I heard Billy was supposed to be coming this way. He must have been taking the trail west. Let's go. That may be, but we ain't taking you along. <laughs> my pa don't want to hear any more stories, okay? Now find that bastard for my daddy.
play. Go on. You, move it. Plenty of spark. Fill up those glasses. Let's make these boys feel welcome. Ladies? on your face. stealing your money. What do you mean? Well, I'm only stating an opinion. Well, you know what? Nobody asked you. No, sir, not really. Okay, mister, I'm busy. <laughs> Better be moving on, because uh, you know how it is. You just might have an ace up your sleeve. I got no gun, mister. No, I'll try this one for size. Well, what's this? The very ace I was talking about. Yeah. Hmm. You. Harry, what'd you do that for? Oh. Oh. right where you are. And you, why don't you buy yourself a gun? I can't shoot. So learn. Uh, it's easier said than done. Watch. See what happens to my hands? I've always been like that. You got delicate nerves. That's your trouble. Uh, Here. Try this. That's murder. Oh, did you get it? Our little cat of flower. <laughs> Maybe you should stick to fire rather than fool around with poker. Huh? What if I hadn't been there? <laughs> Pal, now you don't actually think that I'd be as innocent as all that. But, mister, you didn't tell me your name yet. Tim. 
Just how much did you lose? A drop in the ocean, Tim. Here, I still got this. A little bag of gold ore. Huh. You better look around and find a good place to store it. The bag is safe. <laughs> They'll find it. You think your drawers are any kind of protection? Well, do you know of a place? Hmm. Go to a bank, walk in, deposit it, they give you a receipt. That's the best way. Anybody you know have a bank, Harry? No, unless you have. In Pueblo City, there's one. Ought to set you up. No, no. I've never been in a bank, and I'd be just a little feared to go. Are we too late? Sorry, gents. The show's all over. Oh. Uh, for a dollar? <laughs> it starts again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But uh, tell me, how were they able to catch that? I don't know. It was lying in the pole. Hmm. If she gets married, does she have to get into his bed, or, or does he get into that tank? Well, he'd have to get uh, in there. <laughs> I mean, she can't stay outside of her water. Am I right? A fish, pure and simple. Convinced? They have a special place. Uh, -huh. yeah. uh everything has its uh, place. Oh, yeah, that's true. Right. Uh, even a sack of gold. Gold? In a bank. Uh, ah, oh. yes, uh, I better be going back. Listen, I wouldn't try to influence you. You go to bed and sleep on it. If in the morning you decide to do it, come on to Pueblo City. I'll be there. Oh, Susanna, don't you cry for me. For I come from Alabama. Hey, mister. Is this here uh, Pueblo City? Yep. Are you sure? Guess I ought to know. I'm the sheriff, and I wouldn't be here if I didn't know where I was. You're right. Looking for someone? They're all working in the fields. Trying to find something? Yeah. You're doing the right thing. I've seen some poor towns, but this is the worst I've seen yet. First impression. It's got potential. And it'll be the prettiest little town in the whole state. Business naturally is uh, slow now. But if you just wait in that chair, you'll get to see it with your own eyes. No. Yeah. Where's that bank you were talking about? Uh, over there. Hmm? That? Hmm? <laughs> That's the only one there is. Three percent interest, that's all. Is that okay, three percent? Is what okay? You deposit the gold, uh, and when you take it out, you get some more. Hmm. More gold. Uh -huh. All right, now, you ought to make this deposit or not. I ain't got all day. I'm sorry, Harry, but you should be more careful. There. Ah, bank. They got vaults, don't they? Of course, a bank always has a vault. But I won't show you, young man. I don't believe it. He wants to see the vault. <laughs> Nobody needs to see our vault. 
He's the banker, ain't he? Our value of six hundred and seventy-three U.S. dollars. You'll be needing that receipt. Well, thanks and good day. Thanks. That's your service, gentlemen. <laughs> And you, where are you headed? Oh, I'll just ramble. I think I'll get a pole and some line. A pole? Yeah, I get it. <laughs> and a fish lady. <laughs> hey, Tim, I hope she takes a line. <laughs> Again, I'll blast her. This won't cut. We got nothing better. Bring me another knife. You boys just see that you get him. Yeah. Just a minute. Yes, sir. When I get my hands on him, I'll... <gasps> Tell me where they went. The fish. They're gone. Where was she headed for last? 
What direction? That way, the sandstone. <laughs> yes, it did. Your friend was here. He and another fellow started to fight, and he had no gun. You forgetting anything? No, he didn't stay. Probably left for good. You know where he went? Uh, he'll tell you, mister. That miner was with him, he'll know. So here's Billy's pal. <laughs> Billy? I've never heard of anybody but... Now look, my friend, don't play cute. I know you two had a fight here the other night. Oh, it was Tim. Billy. No, no, Tim, Tim, Tim. Tim or Billy, it doesn't matter. You know where he was headed last? All I know is I'm gonna break open his noggin. You can't have Billy. No, friend. I'm the one who's gonna see to it. Remember me. My name's Roger Pratt. Doesn't it sound nice? <coughs> All right. I see you again. find you here. Hiya, Harry. Hey, you, the price is 20 cents. <gasps> what? Tim, you tell him. You, the bank story. That bank disappeared. The bank that, but no. Did you ask? Yeah, I'm asking. Just let me explain it to you. I'll pay it up, really. Then start paying. If you only knew how much I counted on that gold, you wouldn't have took it. But supposing that most of it's been invested right here in the water show. Invested? Uh-huh. On my gold? If you figure uh, how much you can get, you can double that money. This shows a real gold mine. And so, there's no more? It's all here, really. The fish tank. It ain't so awful. This is going to make you a bundle. Are you sure that this here mess is mine right here? The fish tank, the tent? This is a fine joke. What am I going to do with this stuff? What will I do with a fish girl? More for, for crying out loud. Not with a hammer. Oh, yeah. Uh, everything was just starting. <laughs> No, no! <laughs> that 
tent was new. What'll I do now? Now look what you did. Yeah, wagon, my wagon. You ruined everything. Now get out of this wagon. Go on. Well, now you've gone and wrecked the wagon, too. I want you to understand that you threw away your own money. So that's it. But you owe me two slaps I took because of you. How's that? On account of certain Roger Pratt. What a mess you got me into. Very old grudge. Something happened long ago. Eight months of my life to build my ranch. Ranch? What ranch? The one I inherited from my uncle. My father wanted, after he died, that I go back to it. It's a big ranch. Heaven there. Far as you can see. And turkey. No turkeys, no. Prices are better now than they ever were. Well, can't you just picture that? No. It's up to you, it's your ranch. Hey, wait! You want your gold or don't you? Yeah, I want it, sure. Let's go then, come on. Or don't you trust me? You're gonna get it, and that's a fact. Hm. I'm watching. You're gonna move on. Just don't go trying to cheat me twice. Uh. Why are you waiting Tim? Tim? Adios. I'll buy you a new tank if you'll wait. So long, darling. What the hell is this? Would you please stop it? You see, I'm not toting a gun. You don't live long in these parts without a weapon. I might have shot you, and then what? Then you would have murdered an unarmed man. Yeah. No. I knew it. Ever heard of Jesse James and Pick Hitchgold and Hank Gaspary? I heard they were the most vicious in all the West. They all used guns. Murderers. And they all died before they reached 30. No, guns bring only problems. I prefer to do things clever. There's much less danger. Okay, so start doing something clever about the gold. Yeah, that's just what I was thinking. to Boston, we got a daughter lives there. You bet you can. Boston, New York, Philadelphia, and Washington. No, Washington, no. That's going too far. And to Washington. <laughs> Come on, are you gonna get in touch with the big world? I said don't touch that, you get hurt. Can't you keep still? 70 cents, better hurry up. Who would like to get in touch? The answer, I suppose, eh? Mister, this little machine will work the same as any other. Its workings are miraculous. Hey, hey mister. Excuse me, lady, this is urgent. Write this down. Come back this very day, Violet Brodigan. Violet, huh? Brodigan. I'm Brodigan. Come home immediately and all is forgiven. If not, I'll shoot you both. You stay and you'll see. Huh. Hmm. I'll put it in code, mister. You pay the cashier. <laughs> Come back this very day, Violet Brodigan. Mm -hmm. 
You want to send a thank you message from the whole town? Okay, mister. We'll send the president a message. President of the entire United States, Rutherford B. Just say, mister, he knows his own name, don't he? Affront your own president, would you? Why can't you show a little respect? Yeah. Western Junction would like to give its thanks to official. Mister, you better make that official. Don't you think he can spell? You'll have it right. Of course. Now then, and we are anxious to bring you our thanks. Official, right? Hey, Mo, I think we've been took. Yeah. Hey, what have you just been doing? Uh, there's two men over in Weston. A pair of strangers. This morning, me and John was out poking around, but, well, there ain't no cable line. Hmm. Glad to hear a bit more about this story. Might be interesting to us. 21, 22. Uh... You feeling reassured? <laughs> Better watch what you say. Sure. Personal to Mr. Brodigan. Your, uh, your dear Violet says she's coming tomorrow. Dan? Yes. tracks but we just can't leave this way but roger's here hey what about washington uh you see washington's calling on the other yeah, line the lines got crossed uh, what line <laughs> hurry 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 yeah yeah now let's go come on You go over there and stay down. Let's separate! 
Hey, Matt! You check that side! The rest come with me! And strong is a soul, and it is forever and evermore. <laughs> Now, Jack McDonald, here we leave you in peace to find your eternal rest. You are going to a far better place than whence you came. You are leaving this veil of tears to take your place with the angels. We know how much you suffered in this life. We Just better be getting on about a business. Passing, but you bore your pain with goodness and graciousness, <laughs> pardoning those who did you evil. So the Roger's boys are here, too. I think we'll have to split up. I have another way. What another way? Haven't you ever heard of the late Jack McDonald? McDonald, uh, who? Harry, how long were you in those mountains? No, no. Little Trigger Mac. So what? But you mean, you can't be telling me you ain't heard nothing about the Abilene Bank. No. Just 200 bags of gold, that's all. He and his gang. The Federals put the others out of the way. Little Trigger Mac made it with 200 bags of gold dust. And no one's been able to find it. Mm. You mean to say McDonald there, it was him? Oh, I'm tired of this. If you're thinking of leaving, I'll be all right. You can take all of the profits from that damn telegraph and we'll say that the book is shut. Oh, no, no, you owe me more than just those measly dollars and cash But box. don't you see, I've just now found I can pay you just you imagine going along with more money than you could possibly spend in a lifetime. But it's too good to be mean that. And we could even buy those turkeys. No, no turkeys. I'll save you who watches. We'll protect the man cares. But you think that really little trigger Mac is there? Yeah, yeah. It's Jack. Bet your boots even been still hidden around these parts. Hmm. If the widow would tell. <laughs> well, she'd tell me. But how are you going to make the woman tell? <laughs> Just look. Thought so. But if you even think of cheating me out of my share, I'll make you pay twice over. Well, you better get out of here. Dust thou art, and to dust you shalt return. Thus saith the Lord, and we cry hallelujah and amen. And I pray to the Lord to look down on Jack's wife, this inconsolable woman who devoted her whole life to your care. And so, to your rest, Jack. Adios, Jack. Your speech was a beauty. Thank you, my boy. Mister, you a friend of Jack's? I'll never be able to forget Jack. What a loss. Poor Jack. A marvelous man, your Jack. And a mighty warm one. But he never even mentioned you. Uh, uh, Ma'am, you knew Jack. You knew he spoke a little, right?
Your kind words have given me such comfort. I didn't hear your... Uh, Tim. Tim Hawkins. You must call me Dorothy. Tim, what uh, is it? It's all right. It's just a spell. I galloped all night long to make it here for you and for Ben's sake. Jack. Uh, yes, of course, uh, Jack. Do forgive me. I know how very good you've been. I'll get you a little coffee if you'd like. Nice house. You live alone? Yes, now I do. <laughs> you shouldn't, you mustn't go to pieces. Jack would never want me to leave you like this. He expressed it so simply. Now look, Tim, if you can smile, it'll get better. I'll make the coffee. Thank you. Yes, Jack would like to see you like this. Help yourself to some if you'd like. Jack always preferred turkey. It smells so nice. It's a good smell, wafting upwards, full of purity. But you never give it to Jack with mournful eyes. A smile's better. You've thought of every little thing. I try to. Mm. What do you want? Are you moving in there? I might just do that. But I can't. I'll... Better now, Dorothy? Mm. Better, but I'm still. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we should finish this here turkey. Mm. Are you okay? The money's buried over there. Over there under that bush near the fence, you see? I better keep the widow busy while you dig for it. I'll dig for it. But are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. Right over there. I'll do it. Yeah. Ah!
Jack, rest his soul. What a sad life he had. Never able to leave his wheelchair. I'm sure God has shown him how to walk again in heaven. Think so? Yes, right now he's walking among the stars. What a nice thought. Oh, oh what did you say? Oh. Jack couldn't get out of that chair, huh? For how long? Tell me about Jack. Since when had he been like that? He, he was seven years old. I fell off a donkey. And, 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 <gasps> Tim! I'll kill you! Huh? What the? We're What's going on? on? Sidewinder! Uh, I'm your pal! Uh, oh. Wait, Harry! You pay this time! Somebody call the sheriff. Someone call the sheriff. Oh. It's his fault. What do you want to keep me here for now? Haven't you two destroyed a house? Haven't you disturbed a poor lady? You and your friend, too. And you dug a big hole, and you closed the Oh, come on, you might say some of that's true, but ain't it about time you let us out of here? Uh, you'll have to wait in there till the judge gets here. I'll pay $70, and that's for the both of you. You can't wreck this town. Seventy-six. Okay, that's seventy-six dollars. Now that I'm going, Tim, let's just say this brings an end to our partnership. But you mean you won't pay mine? No! Now it's finished. Yep. Leave me this way? Yep. Is that what you want? What a fool you are. There's a bunch of jackasses outside, <laughs> waiting to bray at you. How will you manage alone? They don't scare me. It's you they're after, not me. It's your business. That you're with me is enough. Raja never asks any questions. He'll shoot you. You figure it'll get better if I stay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Sheriff, I've got the money. Enough for both of us. You can't have your guns until after the trial. Come on up. Aren't you coming? I paid. No, not yet, Harry. It's not so simple, but don't worry. <laughs> Wait me in six hours.
How much did we make today? Two dollars and seventy cents. Oh. Hi, friend. Oh, no, it's him. What do you want? Hey, oh. don't start yelling. Is this any way to greet a person? <laughs> Can you beat that? You don't want me around. Please, I haven't recovered yet from the last time. Out, I say. Shh, that's not helping. <laughs> I propose that we make an association, huh? You know what I always say. First, see my lawyer. But aren't you even thinking about your future yet? If all you want is a penny ante freak show, why do you complain about it? Tell me. Do you know how much money it'd take to get this thing into condition again? Oh, let's get out of here. We'll move out tonight. You are a lunatic. What's your hurry anyway? Why leave tonight? But I think we should. Maybe we shouldn't. But there's your missus. Let her say. He's right. This one. Let's go. We're out of money. Broke is what you call it. Hey. You've almost no business. I've gotten you a man who can get it for you. You've only got to get at it this second. Let's have a look at this miracle. Uh, yeah. I'd like to see the miracle. And so now we offer the demon from below, the Salabat Rubada. He is known as Fogo, and he eats beans like you folks eat your dinners. Only don't forget he first sprinkles it with fuel oil. <laughs> and for his first act, he'll present his halo. If they spot me, what are we going to do? You're going to put this on. The only, the very, the celibate Rubena. Go, go on. Now just him down. It won't take but another moment before we go on with the show, fine. folks. Go. Fire eaters, prepare it. Go. And here he is. Something, Tim. You'll be staying, won't you? Yeah. Just for the present. I'm leaving as soon as we get out of this place. There's a ranch just past Jubilee Creek. <laughs> it's pretty. Barry Harry owns it. But I've begun to think of that little old place as if it were mine. <laughs>
should I do it? My pal will want to know him when he sees him. <laughs> Billy boy, your shooting's ended. <laughs> <laughs> Well, now, Billy, happy to see us again. Pa's been expecting you. And won't he be awful glad to know that you're safe with us once again? This other one, what are we going to do with him? He's dead weight. Pa would say, do you pray, sir? Confess pure, you die absolved. even know him. He's your amigo, eh? See what you brought on your friend, Billy? <laughs> sure glad I ain't your friend. Get moving. to that ranch, I'd have given in to you anyway. I don't get it. The turkeys. You're just telling me that because you know you're going to... No. You could have had them. Guess I'm unlucky for you. <gasps> that bastard. Only six bullets. One up there and uh, the rest down here. How come, Tim? You've been lying. You told me you couldn't shoot. I can shoot, just don't like to. <laughs> I'm not able to use my hands. <laughs> I prefer to use my whip. Yeah, take it easy there, big liar. Listen to me, Harry. I'm really able to shoot. But if I do, they'll know who I am. Look. Huh. Who are you then? My name is Billy Boyd. Billy Boyd? In Virginia, I worked for Samuel Pratt. One day I decided to make a change, make a new start. <laughs> He's real mad, believe me. 
I imagined what he'd try to do. To hunt you down? Yeah. He went and sent two of his sons. They both missed. Then you left? Yeah, after putting two shots in the middle of their foreheads. Not ready, Harry. If the Lord provides abundance, why should man have to toil? You've always said a man was born to toil. Then I think he was right. My father almost never spoke. He rarely spoke to me. My father would say, What's that? Morning. Hmm. Pretty soon, let's, uh, Make our way out to our ranch. Hold on. It's my own. You mean the whole place? We'll see, but let's get there first. Oh, uh, we'll get there. Don't worry. And I'll start right away building the turkey coops. I told you no turkeys. Hey, wait. You already promised. Uh, I promise ain't worth a gall dern when you're ready to go. Why, you stinking bastard. Uh. Uh. I thought I told you never to call me by that word. But when was the time before this that I cursed you? Huh? Oh, excuse me. Where's that coach headed? It takes gold from the mine in San Juan to Laredo. Some to drink. Full of gold. It sure makes you feel itchy. What? I mean that wagon. <laughs> Better just forget it. Let me tell you, Brent Beauregard wanted that gold too. And when he couldn't get it, poor Brent was fit to be tied. Who's Brent Beauregard? Uh, there he is. Might take him with us. We'd have a better chance. Who can tell? We could ask him to go along. No. No, pal, made up my mind. And please, don't mix with men who are already fuzzy-headed. You really think it'll be so easy? What's that? Getting our hands on that gold. All right. Now, what distinguishes the coaches of Wells Fargo? Why, uh... <laughs> the sign. And if you put this sign on the side of your own carriage and beat theirs to the mine by leaving just as it's morning, then you get... About two hours sleep. You get the gold. No, oh, I get it. And you needn't bother to shoot anyone. Always use your wits. Ain't you even tempted? No, sirree.
remarkable. I've never heard anything as clever as this. Man, you really have quite a head. Mm, I guess so. Perhaps, I don't know. Hmm, you really do, more than I figured. Keep this in mind, then. You're better off using this. Know what I mean? Didn't I tell you? Just like I said, nice and easy. You were right. Hey. Hmm? Who are they? A military escort. Are they coming with us? We'll find out. We got the gold. Don't be worried about it. Oh, but yeah. We'll have to move fast. Put a smile on your face. Oh, morning. Oh, oh. You're new on a job, aren't you? It's our maiden voyage, Lieutenant. Well, move on. Ha! 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 Let's go. Maybe walk a while. I can make it back all right. No. No, you won't, boy. We're in this together now. Get at it. Nobody told me it would turn out this way. Take it easy, amigo. You just let me handle it. Don't shoot him, no! Come on, a little closer. I say, 
You're crazy, know that? I told you no shooting and you did it anyway. You shot a military escort. You know what's gonna happen? They're gonna catch us and string us up. Then how are we gonna spend our gold? Thanks for everything. You really had some great ideas. Adios, amigo. What the hell you been doing, Harry? Let's go. Baba Gold, it's all there. Wait. Yeah? Then look over that way. We better get out of here. Beauregard. He's been after this for years. He can stop trying now. It's all here. Looks like the other one got away. a big ranch, did you? It's gonna take a lot of work, a one match. Discouraged? Let's take a peek inside. I think it's got possibilities. Forgotten his will is a big stick of dynamite. Well, might as well get at it. This time next year, we'll have the most beautiful ranch in this whole area. Feels weed just waving in the wind. Weed? Where is it? Have to raise it. y'all to meet my daddy, Samuel Pratt.
Smart with me, miss. What do you want? What are you going to do to me? <laughs> you get away from me! There's nothing to tell! Like your back scratch, mermaid? You've got to believe me! I can't tell you anything! This is it, mermaid. I mean business. <laughs> Your pa seems to be having a sweet time. No, no! Yeah, he always was a, a lady killer. I heard Jubilee Creek, a ranch. Uh, that's what I call cooperation. Fox has sprung the trap again. Must be something wrong with the bait. Oh, don't worry. Sooner or later, we'll catch him. Well, the roof's fixed. Mm -hmm. It'll hold a bull now. <laughs> <laughs> that a bull. Just keep at it. Take one of those. Yeah. Uh -huh. Be all right? Yeah. Thanks. Morning, Mr. Singleton. Good morning, Miss Miller. What can I do for you? Oh, Teddy broke my teapot again. He's in style. Just came in. Will that do it? I don't know. Uh, you think it's big enough? Oh, yes, definitely. Oh, Teddy and I drink a lot of tea. Uh, well, I'll take one of those oil cans. And I don't know if it'll hold enough. It's pretty, though. It's the latest design from San Francisco. What is it now? Well, what do you think of that? Altogether, it's $20.50. Yeah. Well, I'll have to think about it. Here's something else we got from San Francisco. I'll let you smell it, Miss Miller. Hmm. Well, I don't know. I like it at the city. We're a little yeah. short now. You recall you the $20 know, worth of goods we took the, the other the day out to the smells. ranch? You'll put it on the books, eh? Everybody does. Thanks. Could you come out and see me at the ranch? I hope you've got everything, Tim. What do you think, Miss Miller? You I'll want it? I'll try it. All right. Thank you. Morning.
With this one, we got six. Perhaps we can have us a little house party. Hey! Boy, better watch it. Busted my teacup. <laughs> Your party's arriving. Let up, Harry. Keep at it. Hurry, light this. Oh, man. Then get in the woodshed. No, not in the house. Get in there. Light it! What are you doing? Suffer first. I want to see you beg to die. Roger. Yeah, Bob. Have a little fun with him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
<laughs> Drop your holster, Billy. Uh, watch him, Roger. If he drops his hands, you're a dead man. <laughs> Uh-huh. Ought to listen to your paw there, Roger. If you want to take it, come on. Didn't I tell you we'd catch that fox one of these days? Harry! Yeah, that's it. What do you mean, boy? Alone? Yeah. Alone. Better I go. You'll make it. It's better we go our own ways. Send you a letter. Billy. Wait for me. Keep that letter. I'm coming with you. <laughs> 